Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and we have a very clear sunny day. I have the large Fresnel, spot Fresnel lens set up. Right now we are working on a rock. What I've done is placed a rock under there and we're making backyard lava or obsidian. It is a black glass-like structure that usually only occurs around volcanoes. This rock has been under here for about 10 minutes. You can see there's a pretty nice pool there. What I'm going to do is just gradually drop the heat so it doesn't bubble very much. What you can do to make kind of an annealing process is instead of having the lens on target like this, you put it off axis a little bit and you still get a lot of heat generation, but you slowly cool it. I'm going to go ahead and just use this uh, plaster plate and see how it holds up. That's what's going on right there. It's really going and the wind has just kicked up a lot. It's pulling a lot of our heat away but it doesn't seem to matter. I'm going to drop some aluminum down there and you're going to see something pretty cool happen. It went completely through that piece of plaster. So our first test went all the way through the plaster. I'm going to drop some aluminum down in there. The aluminum actually vaporizes. I'm going to try this with a larger piece. Get back. The lens went completely through it. It bored a hole right through the plaster. That is one inch thick plaster. It did that in under a minute. I made like a concave shape on this side. That way stuff will want to stay in the middle and we're going to do the aluminum test again. Now watch this, once I shut the lens off, Clear borosilicate glass like this is very difficult to melt with the Fresnel lens because the light just passes through it. So what you need is a heated area there. I'm going to show you how you can actually melt this. You definitely want to have eye protection. So what you do is you just put your glass right over there. You don't actually have to stick it down in the cement, but the heat will transfer. And your glass starts to become very pliable.
So I just crimped this in shut. So today we were able to make some backyard lava or obsidian out of this rock. I also made this smaller one with the pebble and we vaporized some aluminum and also bent some Pyrex. I'm your host Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.